Avid Aqua broke onto the aquatic scene this year with magnets, frag racks, probe holders, but now they're jumping into electronics. I'm here with Terrence. This is not a magnetic product, but it links into something that you have a little bit of history with. You know, when you first interviewed me back in March when we came out with the brand, I said that we're going to be a brand that's about, you know, passionate about reef keeping, uh, from reef keepers, by reef keepers, yeah. innovate, you know, and iterate. And we've had this in the works for a few months, and it doesn't seem like it goes with everything else, but it does because it's unique and it adds something that reef keepers have been wanting for a while. Okay. And what that is, is something for their apex that has a display that looks really cool so they can see what's going on in their aquarium. But Apex has a display. Well, yes, Apex does have a display. It's been around a while, uh, and it does kind of what it's supposed to. I would say that it's not exactly as cool as this, uh, but the real replacement that this is is so that you're not always having to pull out that phone to see what's going on in your aquarium, because most people don't even have that display anymore. Absolutely, I haven't put one of those on an Apex since I don't know when, because we have our phones, so why is this better than just using my phone? The, the first thing I like to tell people is people that know what a Nest thermostat or one of these new modern thermostats are is that you don't want to have to pull your phone out to go and see what the temperature is in your house. So why would you, when you're walking by your aquarium, want to have to pull your phone out to know what's going on inside your aquarium? Okay. So with the Insight, it's actually in sight. And, and that's because you can walk anywhere in the, you know, in the house and you're going to be able to see like from 20 feet away, yeah. what the temperature is, what your pH is, all of these different things on your aquarium. And it, it's just nice to be able to do that. You're sitting there with your, your hands are wet in the tank or what have you. <laughs> you don't want to have to pull your phone out. Yep. And you can look over and go, oh, okay, that's what's going on. Or you pull out your phone and you're like, oh, notification from someone. And then you're like, well, why did I pull out my phone and it's gone? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a screen where I can get all the parameters out of my apex. Can I change things around? Walk me through it. Okay, so the display itself is basically its own standalone product, right, that just plugs into USB-C. No, I don't have to plug it into the Apex. No, it does not plug into the Apex, no doesn't plug into the Aquabus nothing. or anything like that. This it is not an Apex module. It is not an Apex <laughs> module. It communicates to your Apex over Wi-Fi. Um, every Apex has a built-in kind of uh, dashboard, so to speak, in it where this data is available locally. Ah, so I don't need the cloud to run this. You do not need the cloud. It does not access anything from Apex Fusion or from the Neptune Systems Cloud at all. It's all local. It's all local, which means your internet can go down and you'll still be able to see what's going on in your aquarium. Which, because that happens, and we can see things. Mm -hmm. but what kind of stuff can I see on the screen? Make okay, so basically all the probe data that you're used to getting. So on here I've got temperature, pH, uh, I've got the salinity, and then I've got the trident values of alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. But virtually anything that you see in your Apex dashboard, yep. you can make and see on here. And in addition to that, you can also execute feed modes, you can turn on and off outlets, and, and do these other interactions that you might want to do and have a shortcut to. And I can change these, what I'm showing, if I don't want this one, I can pull up another probe value. Yeah, and it all happens within our app, too. So you don't, you set it up once with your app or okay. whenever you want to change the configuration, uh, and then it just runs on its own. My Apex dashboard has 60 outlets, so you're like, where is it? I don't know. This is going to give me what I want in one Absolutely. screen. Absolutely, and that's the other thing too, that it, it, it's sometimes confusing for a lot of people when they go in to their Apex dashboard, because there is, for a lot of people, so much information there. And so to be able to curate that in the way that you want to see what you want to see right there on your aquarium, but not just at your aquarium. Okay, yeah, I can put this next to my tank, it's Wi-Fi, so I could put it next to my bed if you're a super reef junkie, you want to roll over in the morning and go, Absolutely. everything's okay. Absolutely, so you can have multiple insights all connected up because they work off the same Wi-Fi in your house. Okay. And one of the ways I've, I, I've thought of this is, uh, you know, when you have that time with your significant other and you're sitting there in front of the movies and you're supposed to be watching the movies <laughs> and you're worried about that you just, you know, did something on your aquarium and, and if you go and pull, you know, that phone out. <laughs> the night's over. <laughs> yeah, she's like, why are you on your socials again? But if you just look over at the, you know, over at the end table over there and you're like, oh, cool, you know, pH is still good. So I have two apexes, one on quarantine, one on my main tank. I could have two different insights on yep. different apexes in the same house. Absolutely, yeah, you can have multiple apexes is you know connected to an insight 
you know, you can kind of swipe through them. Right now, uh, you know, we still haven't launched this yet. So that particular feature is coming soon, but you can certainly have multiple insights on one Apex right now. Okay, but one insight can't connect to multiple, a two different Apexes. Yes, it can. It can. Yes, it can, or I should say, it, it's in development. It's in will, okay. <laughs> one thing I always get asked about aquariums is don't you have high humidity and mold problems in your house? Is there any kind of like other monitoring that this can do? Funny you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> so ambient conditions uh, in your house or in your, your equipment room or uh, even underneath your sump are super important. They actually affect your aquarium more than people know. You mentioned humidity, that's a key one, right? Yep. Um, obviously ambient temperature, another one. And then the one that, that most people don't even know creates a ton of issues for them is CO2. So this has, in its pro model, it will have the CO2 sensor in it, so you're getting CO2 levels in the room and you actually have a better understanding and then maybe you have to flip something on. Can I turn outlets on and off? Yeah, you can actually turn outlets on and off. And when you have an issue in your tank, this is going to go red. Alarms. You're going to get big alarms. There's an uh, audible alarm in this. Uh, so it will use your Apex min and maxes that okay. are built in there uh, to determine you know, when this alarm should go off or not go off in the screensaver mode right? that we have. I kind of call it the Oracle because it's like it's everything you want to know right there. Uh. But when you go into that mode, again, if you had something that was getting close to being a problem, your temperature was say 81 and a half or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, it could go yellow mm. and know, oh, look out, right. it's starting to get bad. Okay. So it's, it's really this great way of just very quickly, always just having that warm fuzzy yep. that your tank's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And it's small, it can sit on your desk, put it on a bookshelf. I mean, it could even be a nightstand yeah. right there. And any plan to do this for the hydros? Uh, we would definitely entertain that. I think that the architecture is completely different. Okay. Uh, that it would require, the, you know, direct participation with them to want that to happen. But we're absolutely open to doing it. Terrence, part of reef keeping is creating a beautiful tank, and we get cords around the thing. How do we mount stuff? How do we make the electronics look pretty? Can you mount this thing? Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that we kept in mind with this product is there's lots of different places people might want to use it. Okay. So obviously I have this in a panel mount here. So we have a panel mount strap that goes in the back that'll work up to like three quarter inch. So if you want to put a hole in your right in your door, in your, uh, in your sump yeah. area, you can mount it in there and strap it in there. Uh, the second thing is, if it is on your end table, you, we have a kickstand that it sits on. Okay. And then the third thing, because we are a magnet company, <laughs> we put a piece of metal inside the back of it and it actually snaps right onto our magnet. So if you have like one of our frag racks in the tank, yeah. now you just put that right on the outside of it and boom, it sticks right to it. But is it waterproof for when it gets splashed? This is not waterproof. Unfortunately, electronics are electronics, <laughs> and even the ones that might tell you they're waterproof, they're probably just water probably. resistant. Okay, so part of mounting stuff on your tank is so it's easy to reference. You also have a camera mount, so we can see what's going on in the tank when we're away. Yes. And this looks a little bit different. Well, Terrence, a camera mount, I've seen it, I have one, but roll through it real quick for those who haven't seen it yet. So the most popular camera out there that's inexpensive and great is the WISE camera. Yep. We decided to make a WISE camera mount. You saw that before. It goes right onto our magnets, and then the camera just snaps right in. And that's how it pretty much was before. Now we just decided to add that. The old orange filter. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So the WISE camera is pretty good on its own of resolving, but when you go into the two blues, yep. Not gonna work. Nuclear blue. So we decided to throw this in with the kit and you just pop it into the into the mount, pop your macro lens that we give also with the kit so that you, the camera gets a better close-up shot. Slide your camera in and now you got it. Now we have an orange filter. It makes it look even better. Much better look on there. And uh, you know, we, we've sold quite a number of these already. So I know I'm gonna get people who are gonna be asking. Yeah, I gotta buy a whole new thing, right? Yeah, no. No. No, we're gonna go ahead and just give these out to people who have bought the product. So we'll have a, an email address here soon that we'll have set up and okay. it'll be out on our social media. So make sure you go to you know, our social medias at Avid Aqua. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll just send you one for free. Just, you just have yeah, it? absolutely. Now, for those who don't have it, we can purchase this with the kit? or is Yeah, it, it just comes. It? Just comes free with the kit. Included just, from now on? Just included, yeah. It just makes things that much better. Awesome, because yeah, it was nuclear blue when I was looking at it through the WiseCam app, that's gonna fix that. Yep, simple fix. Awesome. Yep. <laughs>